everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we have an attempt of Muslims or Muhammadans to defend their religion, which is something good to do. I mean, if you are a believer in a you know whatever, if if it's a cult, and uh, you know there is a reason for you to believe, right? So when somebody accuses uh, the belief in something will destroy the belief, the believers will jump to defend it. That's very normal. But what is not normal is the believers to lie about their belief in order to defend the belief. Today we have a video which is sent by one of you. I don't watch those kids. It's called, this is uh, to give credit for the video first, EF uh, Dawa. And EF Dawa says, school open Christian claim a scientific error in Quran, semen from women backbone and ribs. <clears throat> so uh, if you watch the video, I'm not going to play the whole video, I will play a little part, so nobody claim copyright over it. Uh, for sure, they are denying that the Quran doesn't say that the semen is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. But, you know, when, uh, when the Muslims, when the Muhammadan, they try to defend, I find it always hilarious because always they prove our point. They do it in the opposite way. Uh, you know, the whole video, actually, there's nothing much except a person trying his best to make something out of nothing. Let us hear a little bit. What are we talking about comes from a woman's chest? Okay. You know, so let me, let me just, clarify for you. Right? It doesn't so make any clarify. sense. It doesn't make clarify. any sense. Let me clarify for you. So the word sulb refers specifically to the male member. Now all you need to do is grab a... The word sulb refer to the male member. Take a note, Muslims. All what we need to do, we do what? Quran, uh, any Arabic dictionary. That... Any Arabic dictionary. Shall we do that? Here you see from the beginning how they, they are desperate to lie. I mean, let us go and see the Arabic dictionary. And we will see that the word solb mean the backbone. Let us go and open any Arabic dictionary. He said that. Did you open it? Did you read it? We do. Let us go and open an Arabic dictionary. This is the Arabic dictionary. This is the word solb, and this is the word taraib, and this is an Islamic dictionary. And this is Arabic English too. And we do not need the Arabic English. For me, Arabic is my first language, not my second language. It says here, taraib, meaning chest. And it says here, solb and taraib mean a backbone. And the ribs. Taraib alone mean breast bones. So the whole video is about denying that the Quran saying that the word solb mean backbone, and the whole video is about saying that the Quran denying the Quran saying the ribs of the women. And he just said it started. If we open any Arabic dictionary, we will find it. So we did. And they are saying to you even, this is Quran, Taraib, Surah al -Tariq. And by the way, this is all the Islamic dictionary exists in the world. No exception. So you see how, how easy it is to get them busted. This is why they don't come to me. I invite those people, you know. Why you don't, uh, you know, say, hey, Christian Prince, we like to talk to you and, you know, get you busted. <laughs> it doesn't it, the video is over I do not need to continue I do not need to say anything more because he is the one who said all what we need to do just go and open any Arabic dictionary did he say that this is all what we need to do and the video is over bye bye I'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are, I feel sorry for them. They are just a bunch of kids. So the word solub suddenly became a penis? Since when? 
Hello? You know what? You notice that in all their video, they don't say, let's see what the prophet said about that. Did you notice that? Why they don't want their prophet to explain what the Quran is saying? Because their prophet will get them busted. So let us make our own false fiction. And they, they propose something that, okay, all those who do watch us, either they are Muslims who speak Arabic and they will not get us busted, or they are non-speaking Arabic who will not know anyway. <laughs> Let us go to any Arabic dictionary and see what it is. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, let us go to any Arabic dictionary and see what it is. And we did. But look, this is your prophet getting you busted with your lies. And this is your Islamic translation. And this is your Islamic website. Your prophet say the following. From the backbone of Adam. Do you see it? How come not a single Muslim says that this is saying from the penis of Adam? Only your majesty come with the solution that the word solib mean the male member. And by the way, do you know what solib mean? Solib. The second you say solib, you talk about extremely hard object, like a rock, bones, even steel. Is that the scenario for your penis? Excuse my language. It's not made from soul. It is a piece of meat. It's a muscle. It is not a hard bone or a hard object. So their deception beyond stupidity. They are so desperate. And by saying what they are saying, they are agreeing that their prophet is a fool when he said from the backbone of Adam. And look, those guys who they are born in England, who they don't speak Arabic, <clears throat> they are scientists in Arabic. Brother Tita, my name is Nakamarik, and today I'm going to explain to you the word Thulb. The word Thulb does not mean a baboon. The word Thulb means the penis. Hey, where do you get this from? From which dictionary? I will tell you. If you open the dictionary, which is not printed yet, because we are printing the dictionary. Yeah, it's not printed yet? Exactly. Because simply, uh, there is a guy in the Christian Prince, and we are going to surprise him. Let us open the dictionary. I mean, the guy, he said, let us open the dictionary. We did. And we found that the dictionary getting him busted. Let us hear a little bit more, just for the sake of comedy. Let us open the dictionary. Shall we open the dictionary? Let me clarify for you. So, the word sub refers specifically to the male member. Now, all you need to do is grab a Quran, uh, any Arabic dictionary, oh, yeah, Arabic. so uh, Lane's lexicon, whatever you want to refer yeah, to, and that's what I refer to mm -hmm. in, the, in the talk that I gave. And you want to look up these two words, sulb and taraib. Uh -huh. Okay? We did. Now, the word taraib, we know from Taj al Urs and other uh, dictionaries that deal with. Taj what? Taj al Urs? <laughs> I like it when you say it. Taj al Urs. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> uh, rare words, because it's actually a very rare word. It's an unusual word. That's deep. That's deep. This is a rare, rare word. Take, take a note, please. This is what happened when you speak to a philosopher. Abdul, every word is a rare word. Have you ever heard of two Y? There's only one Y. Have you ever heard of two F? There's only one F. This is a very rare, rare word. Mm -hmm. Very rare, brother. Very rare. Okay. What the rare word mean? Tell us. The, the word taraib, and if, and if you want to see evidence of this, just look at uh, Muhammad Assad's trend. Look at the evidence. If you want to see the evidence of this, he didn't say go and see the Prophet. He didn't say go and see Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain. He says go and see Muhammad Assad, who is a German, who he is a Jew, who he converted to Islam, who he learned Arabic. Is the evidence, and he died 1992. And then do you see the evidence? 
Who is the evidence? Who, who, who is the evidence? Please tell me again. The word taraib, and if, and if you want to see evidence of this, just look at uh, Muhammad Assad's translation of this word. Let us see Muhammad Assad translation, if you want to see the evidence of this. Please, brothers and sisters, bring your friends. We are going to show you the evidence. Muhammad Assad translation. <laughs> One day I'm going to die laughing at this religion, and the Muslim they will say Allah killed him. Hey, by the way, just two days ago, three days ago, we made a challenge to Allah to cut my art when I am live on air, and nothing happened. What the God, man? Yeah. <clears throat> You remember the guy they said that the one uh, the one who was making a, 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 a cartoon to Muhammad Allah killed him brother so let us go to Muhammad Assad so we can laugh together my friend this is Muhammad Assad what Muhammad Assad said issuing from between the loins loins okay hold on in your video you said it is the male member in his translation says the loins let me ask you is the loins is the male member uh, but is it the loins anyway it's a lie because here the word is a soul which is the backbone and you are the one who advise us to go and see the dictionary masallah we follow your advice, brother, and alhamdulillah, we found that the soul means the backbone, brother, and the taraib means ribs, brother, bones, ribs, bro, bones. Remember, brother, this is your advice, brother, and we follow the advice of the scholar like you. So, the evidence, if you want to see the evidence, go and see the translation of Muhammad Asad. Okay, hold on, hold on. So I want to understand how come a Jew from Germany, a blonde man, hmm, he understood what this is mean, but Ibn Kathir he could not, a Tabari he could not, a Jalalain he could not, even the cousin of Muhammad Ibn Abbas he could not. I mean, guys, do you see how Allah work, brother? The Muslim through 14 centuries, they could not discover what is that mean until there is a guy, as a guy, he's a Jew from Germany. He became a Muslim. He went to school, he learned Arabic, decided to translate the Quran, and then bingo, we have the correct and the evidence. That's deep. That's so deep. I have to admit. I mean, I have to go now because simply. That's it. You, you, you destroy it all clean. <clears throat> if you want to see an evidence, look, look, look. If you want to see an evidence, is that a dance or evidence? What kind of dance this dance is? Have you ever heard of a strong argument like this before? Be honest with me. If you want to see the evidence, he didn't say like as an example, no, if you want to see the evidence, that's this is his evidence. Okay, what is the evidence, says brother? Tell us more. Your majesty. But the right. And he will he 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 actually makes a note that this is a very rare word. And it, what it really means is arch of bones. Archer bones? Archer bones? <laughs> Give me water. <clears throat> That's too much for me. I feel exhausted with those bones, man. All the bones are... Okay, Abdul, now you fix it, you make it more blind. Still, it's coming from the bones. You idiot. If that what it says, that it means it's coming from the bones, is it? Is it? <laughs> Now, you know, just, just to show you how silly, how, how stupid this claim is. Because why all the Muslims, nobody come with this translation except this guy? What's wrong with the Muslims? Why, why nobody see it? 
This is a Jewish guy who converted to Islam. He don't speak Arabic. He's a blonde. He's a redhead, blue eyes. He is the one correcting 14 centuries of mistakes. He is the one who knew which part the Quran is speaking of. The cousin of the Prophet was an idiot. Even though the Prophet, he named him as the one who can explain the Quran. And not only that, Allah Prophet said that may Allah, he prayed to Allah saying, may Allah ija'ala ibn, ibn Abbas habrul ummah. Made him the ink of knowledge. Muhammad, he prayed for him. And Ibn Abbas, he said, it is the ribs of the women. So just, just to show you the stupidity of those people who try to defend. And you know, excuse my language, I speak this way. I don't know, I, I don't know how to speak. Like, I mean, I, I have to say the word stupid. I cannot, you know, I can't resist the temptation. When he said from the beginning, let us go to the dictionary and see whatever dictionary it says. You, all of you, you can go right now and see what the word dictionary says. And as you see, this is Islamic dictionary, Al-Ma'ani. Simply Al-Ma'ani, the good thing about it, it have Arabic English, but it have Arabic Arabic only, which means all dictionary in Arabic is there too. But because most of us here, we don't speak just Arabic, we are using the Arabic English part. Now ask yourself, why those who they are professional in Arabic, they are lying to us and they are saying that the Taraib is the bones And the ribs and then the guy he said he said in the video what he said he continued saying continue brother and this is why commonly it's translated as ribs but actually it doesn't mean ribs it means arch of bones see brother commonly translated as ribs all the translated and the, all the translators in the world are stupid donkeys and they do not know what the Quran is saying only one guy, he is a Jew, who converted to Islam, he is red-headed and he is a blonde, he learned Arabic and suddenly he corrected Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir doesn't speak Arabic. I mean, come on, Ibn Kathir don't know Arabic. Ibn Kathir, who is born in Syria in Damascus, and he spent all his life there, and he was writing all his book in Arabic, and he didn't speak any other language besides Arabic. The idiot in Nikathir, he did not get it. The Jewish guy who converted to Islam in Germany is the one who got the correct meaning. All the translator in the world, they got that wrong. And also in the Taj al this is specified, and, and even in Lane's lexicon, is specified as being specifically something that is found in women. Hold on. Specifically, it's found in women. Did he fix it now? Did he fix it? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim in the chat? If you want to give a, a, a rate to your brothers here defending Islam, how much, uh, how, like what, what, you will, uh, what you will say? Guys, he is the one who mentioned the book of Tajul Arus, Az Zubaydi, volume number one, page number three, two, three. You liar. It says here. Everybody heard you saying it is specifically something for the women. Everybody heard you. In the top of that radar, it says it is the bones of the chest. Like what? <laughs> This is the book he chose for us. Tajul Arus, Az Zubaydi, volume number one, page number three, two, three. It says that Torah it means the bones of the chest. What's wrong with those people?
you are quoting for me a book getting you busted are you drunk brother who paid you did the Christian Prince pay you to say this brother be honest with me who is behind this obviously something behind it how in the world brother you say this that's deep that's powerful that's amazing that's beyond the imagination somebody saying we don't know in Arabic here what to say so we, it's very easy I can just click here translate to English brother bingo brother <laughs> Uh. Well, hold on. We want to go to Taj al-Arus. Hold on. Let's go to go back to Taj al-Arus. To the website, the one we showed before. Here we go. Okay. Now we translate to English. Hold on. English, brother. The crown of the bride. This is translation in Taj al-Arus. Imam al-Zubaydi. Part number one, page number three, two, three, and the ribs, breast bones. Do you see it? It is the collar bones specifically. This is the book he asked us to read. You know, sometimes people they say to me, "There's words." You know, I mean, it's very harsh when you use them, like potato. Okay, give me a better word. I mean, seriously, give me a better word, I will use it. So if you want to see evidence, go to the translation of Muhammad Asad. And if you go to the book, it's called Tajul Arus. You will see it says bones. He did not say the rest. You see the, you see the liars? He did not say the rest of what Ibn al-Tajul al is saying, where it says it is the breast bones and it is the collar bone specifically. And uh, drama, drama of Islam is really wonderful. You see, when Ibn Kathir, he mentioned what he mentioned, obviously Ibn Kathir is not aware of the books. He is not. You are. Who knows? You, you did because you have the internet. Ibn Kathir don't have internet. Let us make a comparison. A compar comparison. You speak no Arabic, but he, he speak Arabic. So for sure, he do not know what he's talking about. He is a scholar. You are not. For sure, he's an idiot. And you are the knowledgeable. He is a big name in the Islamic religion to teach Islam, but you are the one who can fix Ibn Kathir. Fix him, fix him. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَائِبِ The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Okay, forget about Ibn Kathir. What about Al-Qurtubi? What about Al-Jalalain? What about Al-Tabari? What about I mean all of them they are idiot brother you listen carefully Abdul when Ibn Kathir just to show you how idiot those kids are he mentioned this he was quoting Muhammad you idiot the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women I it is the fluid is yellow and fine in texture who said that? You're a prophet. I remember, it is a sexual fluid. 
a sexual fluid will cause the baby to be exist from both sides and women they have only an egg the egg is not a sexual fluid and the egg is not a gashing forth this is about orgasm If you don't like Ibn Kathir, we go anywhere. But we will need Ibn Kathir. Let us go and see what Muhammad said. You see, we got them busted from the dictionary. We got them busted from the book they quote for us, Tajul Arus. And now we got them busted from what their prophet said, Dr. Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, by the way, he is not only a prophet. He has a many a PhD, you know, in uh, medicine and biology. He's a biologist. So when he lie, he says that the backbone is not a backbone, it is a male member. His prophet get him busted in Sahih al-Bukhari says that you are born from the backbone and this is the Muslim translation. If we go to dictionaries, more dictionaries. As-shadid al-qawi awajjamid wa sulb al-insan faqaru dhaharihi wa jamu aslab aslab wa aslab Translation. We can use Google Translation. Hold on. But anyway, you can copy this. It says that those are the rings of the back, from the back, the spine. It is extremely hard object. I will show it to you in English already. Can we trust a Muslim explaining anything? We cannot. Now here the word, by the way, if you add tashkil, you can change the word. So the word we are talking here about solb, which is not uh, salaba. Salaba is, you know, crucifying. This is a different word. Sulb. So this is the backbone as you see in their dictionary. But let us go and see what their prophet says about this. First of all, this liquid is something the women she see in her private part. It is something come out of her body. It is not something inside and stay inside. This is why those guys, they will never quote their prophet because their prophet will get them busted more. Umm Salim come to Allah Messenger and said, Verily Allah has not shy of uh, the truth. Is it necessary for a woman to take a bath after she has a wet dream? Eh, she is a good Muslim woman. She come into a, a guy who is a stranger and she is telling him that yesterday she had masturbation. Islam, you know, Islam is a very nice religion. Hippie. Everybody in the town, not only everybody in town, everybody now, after 14 centuries, they knew what happened to her vagina. And what is the purpose of this? She want to learn if she have to clean it or not. Like, what? Even this one, you need somebody to teach you to clean it or not. Like, why? You want it to, you want it to stink? So she's coming to the prophet and she said to him, I have a nocturnal, nocturnal, Sexual discharge, brother. The prophet is looking down her stomach. Ah, oh, there. Uh huh. I see something wet there. Uh huh. Yeah, I see a spot there. Mm. The prophet replied, "Yes." Thank you, Muhammad. At least teach them. Man, they don't know how to wash or not to wash. If she notice as the discharge, if she notice a discharge, discharge. So this. Sexual fluid is something discharged out of the body. Um Salama, the wife of Muhammad, then she covered herself, asking the messenger, she gets shy, like, what the heck? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Allah Messenger, does women get discharged? And here this is telling you how powerful Muhammad was in the bed. To the point his wife, she never had discharge. You see, the Muslim, they had a lot of fabrication about the Prophet, how strong he is. He go around and do boom, boom to all his wives. Boom, 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 boom. After one, after one, after one. He never stopped, brother. He's so, he's so strong. 
Then we find his wife getting him busted that she never ever had this charge. And she is covering her face from shame saying like, what? Since when women have this charge? But this is the wife of the guy. His name is Muhammad. Habibi ya Rasulullah, Habibi. The wife of Muhammad, she never ever have this charge. Look like Muhammad, he was uh, <clears throat> not doing the right thing or the right uh, part. Mm. He replied, yes, let your right hand be in dust, which means shame on you, stupid idiot. This is like a, a statement the Arab used to say for somebody is stupid, like make your hand dirty, you idiot. He replied, yes, let your right hand be in dust. Mm. Okay. But still, this does not explain everything. Let us go to different hadith. Aha! The same story. You say the person went in contradicting, okay? And that why the son resembled his mother. So Muhammad claimed that the gashing fluid which come from the women, that is the reason for the child to resemble the mother, which means if the child resembles the mother, not the father, that because of the sexual fluid coming out. But all of us, we know that the sexual fluid have nothing to do with the sperm and the look of the baby and any of that. That is stupid to say. This is just a lotion, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of a react uh, and the whole purpose of it actually is to make the women uh, to ease to, to ease the process of sex and to ease the process of uh, uh, the purpose of the sexual relationship. So when Ibn Kathir he caught this, he was quoting Muhammad in different hadith. Let us go more. Muhammad even described it more, and he described how the water of the women look like. Let's see this one. Hey, hold on here. Uh, <clears throat> this is the sexual fluid the Quran is speaking about. And he said, Muhammad, and we will take a Sahih Hadith, so the Muslim, they will not say, they will not say, oh, he is using, you know, you know them. Uh, let us see, here we go. This is Sahih. The Messenger of Allah said, man, water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow, which Ever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. That alone is enough to prove Muhammad to be a fraud and to destroy all everything they said. This is why they don't use their prophet explanation because if they use it, that will be against them. So first of all, it's a sexual fluid come out of the body. It's not inside the body. It is from the man and the women. The women here, sexual fluid, according to Muhammad, is yellow because obviously he slept only with women have infection. And the sexual fluid of the man is white and this is the sperm. So Muhammad is making it clear that man and women, both of them, they have semen. When a Jewish man, he came to Muhammad and he asked him a question. He said to him, there's three questions nobody knows the, the answer for them, save a messenger of God. Now, the story here is very funny and very stupid. Uh, the guy, he said, uh, uh, let's see here. 
Okay. Uh, where, where? Uh... <coughs> where he said to him, where well, is nobody knows the answer for this question, save a prophet of God. Okay, hold on. Maybe in this hadith is not mentioned. Let us hold on. Uh, <clears throat> Nobody knows the answer for those questions save the Prophet of Allah. Hmm. Where is the hadith? Hold on. Let us do something else. All right, read with me carefully and try not to laugh. When the news of the arrival of Prophet Muhammad to at Medina reached Abdullah ibn Salam, he went to him and asked him about a certain thing. He said, I'm going to ask you about three things which only a prophet can answer. Remember carefully. Only a prophet can answer. But the guy himself, he knew the answer. That's when he's a prophet too. <laughs> do you see the stupidity? I mean, do you see, do you see the madness? Do you see that? Do you see? This is really beyond stupidity. Brother and sister, I'm going to ask him a question. And all of us, we knew the answer for this. And if he answered it, that's when he's a prophet. Because only a prophet knew the answer. But all of you, you know the answer already. Because he agreed with him. When I say stupidity is amazing, I did not create something, it exists already. So anyway, when they asked Muhammad, this guy he asked Muhammad about how the he asked him three questions. The first three questions is not the two questions is not important for us now. He asked him how the baby resembled the mother or the father. Muhammad he gave him the answer. Read carefully. Then he said, I have come to ask you about the child. He asked him already a question. The prophet, he said, and look, the Muslim here, the ad things is not on the Quran. He says, uh, the rep uh, reproductive substance of the man is white and that of the women is yellow but the, between things the muslim they put the bracket it's not there this is false so you try to cover up so muhammad make it clear he's answering the guy why the child resembled the mother or the father muhammad he said well the substance of the man who produced the baby are white the one who produced the child for, from the women's side is yellow when have a sexual intercourse and the male substance and the Muslim here, they add the word chromosome. Chromosome? We just showed you the Prophet teaching that this thing, you have to wash it from your vagina. The chromosome in the vagina outside, and you have to wash it. <laughs> chromosome. <laughs> he just said it is yellow, you idiot. And it's a sexual fluid. The sexual fluid is a chromosome. I mean, do you see how silly even the try who is trying to do the cover up? The sexual fluid is a chromosome and genes. 
the beauty between bracket to say to you uh, we adding those things up to cover up the stupidity of our profit prevail upon the female substance again chromosome it is male child that created by Allah degree but all of us we knew that this is absolutely even false because it is the male gender the male sorry the male sperm or female sperm the sperm itself it have either a male or female that is what decide the gender of the baby however they are adding things there but we showed you already the women coming to Muhammad and saying about this charge and Muhammad he made it clear that the female water is yellow if she notice it which means if see it she have to wash it and the egg is not an orgasm and it's not a sexual fluid and it's not gushing forth because even in the stupid translation which the Muslims they like it says here it's a gushing forth The translation here is very, I mean, very stupid. This guy, I think, uh, uh, Google at, the, at his time wasn't exist, but I don't know what he was using. It's a gushing forth liquid. It is coming out. It is yellow for the women. It is white for the men. And just to make it more stupid, by quoting Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad, he said that the sperm stay in the mother belly for 40 days as a sperm. So the belly of the mother, she keep collecting sperm, collecting sperm for 40 days. When she have enough sperm from the man, then the baby creation will start. This is both, this hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari and in Muslim. What they will say? They will say it is weak. They will say it is rejected. Read carefully. And remember, this is the Muslim translation. The messenger of Allah, the truthful and the receiver of the truth. He's a receiver of the truth. He's satellite. Muhammad, he's he, he, like always his mouth is open to receive Quran, like, you know, to the sky. And the sky like pouring, pouring knowledge. This is knowledge coming from Allah. So you remember Muhammad, he didn't say things except Allah told him. Actually, even he told the Jew that uh, Jibreel, he just told me now. Who? Jibreel, where is the hadith? Hold on. Where is the hadith? Jibreel, he just told me now. Hmm. Uh, which hadith was that? Hold on. Huh, here we go. Who is the one who told him this information? When the Jewish guy, he said to him, why does the child attract similarity to his father or his mother? And by the way, this is talking about being a boy or a girl. Being a boy or a girl not just about similarity as look so why does that child attract similarity to his father or to his mother the prophet replied jibreel has just now informed me so we cannot say that this is an error of muhammad This is the information coming from Jibreel. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And here it says, which the Muslim trying to fix, he says the fluid of the women is yellow 
and the fluid of the man is white. So obviously Muhammad comparing between two fluid. One is the man, sperm. And one is the women's sperm, according to Muhammad. You see here when the woman she came to him and she spoke about a sexual dream and Muhammad he asked her to wash that yellow water she see in her private part. When she sees a sign of liquid it is something she will see a visual scene. It's not something inside her like inside her, her body. It is something in this charge processing coming out of her private part. And remember here, even the women, she is not even having sex with a man, it is only her. So there's no confusion about the, where is the, this fluid is coming from, maybe it's from the man. No, because the women, she is just dreaming or masturbating. So is it necessarily for the women when she has a sexual dream to wash? He replied, yes, when she sees a sign of the liquid. What liquid is that? It's a yellow liquid come out of her private part. Bukhari and Muslim added in the version of Umm Salim, the, or the, the man's liquid, uh, chorus and white, thick and white, and the women fine and yellow. So the resemblance comes from one which prevail or comes first. Is that my website? No. Is that my hadith? No. Is it me who translated it? No. Is it Muslims who did that? Yes. So why the Muslims are not quoting for us what their prophet said? So do you see how silly, how dummy, actually they, those people, they, humu they humiliated their God and their prophet because now after they deny that the Quran does not say the ribs of the women and the backbone of the man, they admitted that such a thing proving the Quran to be false. Correct? Otherwise, why deny it? They are denying it because this is an error. Even the title of the video is saying that. Error in the Quran. So, the purpose of the video is to deny that the Quran is saying that the women ribs and the man backbone and this fluid is coming from those location but they agree by their stupidity to go to the dictionary and we went to the dictionary and we found that they are lying they even called for us a book name to go and check out what it's mean and we did and we found that it is the opposite of what he's saying it says specifically the collar bone of the women it's not only the ribs It is the collar bone. And now a Muslim, he might say to you, he is showing you Shia website. This is Shia library, but the, the, the writer is a Muslim Sunni. They have all books, all Islamic books, Sunni, Shia, all kinds of sect. This is the library website. We are going by the book, not by that side. The book of Tajul Arus, very number one, page number three, two, three. The dictionary they ask us for, we went there too. And it says the opposite of what they are saying. This is Tajul Aruz, the one who mentioned. I just opened the book. Even they are quoting for you poetry. That this is a specifically the colder bone not all the ribs it is the last ribs in the top of the women chest and all the poetry we see here in the book he quote for us speaking about men flirting with women collarbone how beautiful it is they are talking about her chest for sure and not only that it says here it is the location of the necklace and imagine this deceiver, 
He said, let us go and see a book. This, he is mentioning evidence, remember. He mentioned this book as evidence of his quotation. Can you believe it? But they are assuming that none of you speak Arabic and none of you will go read and you cannot even read it. It is the location of the necklace. So now, can we trust any Muslim defending his Quran? Be honest with me. You see, I see that there is a great sign here of knowing Islam to be false. Otherwise, why a believer in God, whatever that God is, he lie about his cult to defend it? You know what I mean? A true believer, he will not lie. And remember, he is the one who asked us to go to this book. What kind of religion this religion is? And now, because the prophet, he said, that we are collected as a semen in the belly of our mother for 40 days, for sure, Muhammad is a prophet of God, because according to prophet Gogol, which is not a Muslim Gogol yet, but they defend Islam in Gogol, you know, that's why YouTube keep flagging my videos, they even take us down when we are live on air. Can you believe it? Those things doesn't happen to everybody. You have to be very important. <laughs> when the prophet he says that you are collected as a semen in your mother Billy for 40 days. By the way, here it says womb. In Arabic, it doesn't say womb. It says button. Button means stomach or Billy. It can be used for both. Billy or stomach. So, 40 days, Muhammad, are you sure, Muhammad? 40 days, brother. And then not to mention that you are for 40 days as a semen, and then for 40 days, you are a congealed blood, a dead blood. See, in translation, he tried to fix it. It says, clinging thing. It doesn't say that. It says, congealed dead blood. Actually, you know what? I am interested to see what... Uh, 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 what his name? Uh, Muhammad Assad. He will say about this. Hold on. Let us laugh. Oh boy. <laughs> Now look, look, look at this. This is Muhammad Assad, the one they are witnessing to prove themselves. Brother, we created you out of a drop of a sperm. That's a mistake. It just say they are drop of a sperm. Drop. Drop is millions of a sperm. Or semen. This is the stupid translation of the one they choose. Okay. A germ cell? What is the germ cell? What is that? Where it says the word cell and where it says the germ. And when we created out the germ cell, an embryonic lump? Embryonic? The Quran say the word embryonic? <laughs> and you know the funny they say Christian they changed their Bible. It's you who's adding words in there. You can go and you can copy the word as it is in Arabic. Take it to Google Translation and let me know if you find any of what is in the translation. It's not there. Actually, just to change the translator, you will find there's a new Quran. 
This is Muhammad Assad. And this is Yusuf Ali. Which one of them is lying? Look, we had made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. What germ cell and embryonic? Where this is coming from? Why? If it's there, why? Why? Why the rest of the Muslim in their translation don't see it? It says here it's a dead blood. It's a dead blood. You know, when you have no shame and you follow a shameful man like Muhammad, I'm not surprised to see them lying about their shameful prophet. You know what I mean? Why not? I mean, they are following a shameful man. So why a Muhammadan will not be ashamed to the point he lie about his prophet. Huh? It become a blood clot. It become what? It become a blood clot. The drop of semen remain for 40 days. This is their translation. Remember, the Muslim one translate, they try to fix it. Remains in the womb of 40 nights and then a blood congeals and then become a blood clot and then lump and flesh. For how long? 40 days too. Every period is 40 days. The total period is 120 days. The baby is created in 120 days total, according to Muhammad. You can go right now, you do not need to be a genius, and say, how long semen live inside the woman? How long sperm live inside the women? Five days. Let us see. Eh, I was typing in Arabic. Okay. When a sperm are inside women's body, they can live up to five days. That means the maximum. This is just a pure scientific doctor's website. And you can go check yourself. All of them agree. Three to five days, three to five days, three to five days, three to five days. The maximum is five days. According to Muhammad, it's 40 days. And this is why the Muslims, they will never quote their prophet to explain anything in the Quran, because if they do, it's embarrassing. The same one they do about the sunset and murky water. If we say to them, okay, let's go and see your prophet, what he said about it. What they will say, their prophet do not know Arabic. What they will say? When we show them the verse in the Quran, the sun set in murky water, they say, oh no, this is how Zulkarnayn, brother, he saw it, brother. It's not the Quran saying Allah, saying that it is set in murky water, brother, but this is, this is Muhammad now. I was sitting behind Allah Messenger. Very good, you do the right thing. Never sit in front of Muhammad. I'm telling you, as the Muhammadan, who was riding a donkey while a sun was setting, he asked, 
Do you know where this said? This is a volunteer teaching. You see how, how charity, to, you know, for free. Dr. Muhammad, he is doctor. He is a, in good in biology. He is good in astro, uh, astro, you know, he's an astronomist. Uh, he is good in uh, you know, geology, biology, neurology, ecology, ecology, whatever G you have. And the second you say that Muhammad says so, the Muslim, they say G. So he was riding a donkey and when the sun set in, he said, do you know where the sun set? Muhammad, he said that. The Abdul, he said, I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. Remember, Muslims, they say that non-Muslims are mushrikeen, which means they associate with God. Someone is not God, but the fact they are the one who do that. As you see, they are even associating the knowledge of a man with the knowledge of God. They put them together in one line. Allah and his apostle know best. Know best, not Muhammad, no little best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. The fact doesn't say warm in Arabic. It says hamia. Hamia means boiling. Hot. So they will not quote their prophet saying the explanation because the second they do that, they destroy all their false supposed to be refutation. So my friends, Islam is invalid cult, and Islam without lies dies. So in order to keep this cult functioning, we have to lie about what the cult, so-called holy book is saying, and we start giving our own interpretation Throwing under the bus Muhammad and his statement. And guess what? They will say to you, this is weak hadith. No, it's not. It's not. Actually, I'm being curious now about what uh, Muhammad Asad about, said about this one, about the sunset in murky water. Let us go there. <laughs> Let us be sure that we have Muhammad as a translation. <coughs> Just for fun, you know. Muhammad Asad, where is Muhammad Asad? Muhammad Asad. Okay, this is Muhammad Asad. <sighs> Muhammad Asad, where is Muhammad? Come on, Muhammad. Okay. Look at the translation, brother. And when he marched westward, west, westward. This is what it says. Okay, I will go with it. No problem. But here it says, "Hatta ida balaga maghrib al-shams until he arrived where the sun set." He did not say he marched westward. How come the Muslims are not disgusted with this false translation? Till when he come to the setting of the sun, it appeared to him. Abdul, listen carefully. It appeared to him that it was sitting in the dark, turbid sea. Like, what the heck? So the Quran says it appeared to him it was sitting in the dark, turbid sea. As I know, there's no sea there. And as, no, as I know, there's no appear to him there. And all of this is a fabrication. All what you need to do, very simple, very simple. All of you, you can do it. You can open this page and you can do Google translation for the page. This way, you will have a translation for both sides. The Muslim translation, Muhammad Asad, and Google translation in the same page. And you will see in a second that they are lying. Let us do that in the front of your eyes. Here we go. This is chapter 18, verse number 86. Remember, Google Translation is a just stupid software, you know? It's not going to add words. It's going to try to understand the word as it is. Are we going to find the word appear in there? Who is a Muslim can show me the word appear in Arabic? Where it says the word appear? Nowhere. 
Google Translate. Remember, the left is a translation of Google. Even if the sun reach Morocco, <laughs> Morocco. yeah, because the word Maghreb, Maghreb can be the the, the uh, like uh, where the sun's uh, like where the sun the sunset time, or uh, the, yeah, like this is what the Muslim they say Salatul Maghrib, which means the prayer of the sunset. So here translate as Morocco. He found that set in I Hamia, I. It's a spring, an I, an I spring. How the spring of water became an ocean, or became became a sea. Where does the word appear? There's no appear. There's no sea. And he found it. Who is the one who's talking to Allah? So Allah reporting what the guy he found. And this is in total agreement with the biggest Abdul statement, which is Muhammad, Qatham, Ibn Abdullah. When he said, it's set in a spring of warm, hot, boiling water. So, obviously this guy is an idiot. And nobody can take his translation seriously. Even Muslim cannot do that. You know, if we say, if we say to ourselves, Okay, if I change the translation, translation, uh, we will use modern translators, you know, modern, which means not the old ones, because old ones, they will get them busted. But we will take like somebody is just alive. Hilali Khan is an example. Let us see what they will say. Is the word there appear? Is there? Let us see if the word appear. And when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Ooh. But this is totally different from what the guy Muhammad Assad said. Marching to the west is not there. It turned to be that he reached the sitting place of the sun. So obviously place is located and that place is where the sun set. He found it sitting in a spring of black muddy water. There's no ocean. There's no sea. There's no appear. There's no dark. There's no torbid sea. As Muhammad Asad he used. So Muslim, which Quran is the correct Quran? Are you fabricating Quran? No dignity. No honesty. And no God. All those behavior come from people who don't believe in the true God. Because the Bible says all lies come from the devil. Who is the father of all lies? The devil. But remember, Muhammad, he, have, he is a special person. Even the devil give Muhammad commands. Have you ever heard of someone worshipping true God? He received good command from the good devil? <laughs> Welcome to Islam. The religion of stupidity. I mean, the guy, he just told you loud and clear that he received command from the devil. He Muslims, who command the Prophet? Allah, are you sure? Yes, brother, I'm sure. So why the Prophet saying shaitan? And Allah, he helped the Prophet to convert shaitan to Islam, brother. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I would love to see a video of in YouTube made by the Muslims interviewing Mr. Shaitan when he was taking Shahada. Did Shaitan come to the mosque and say Shahada, brother? Like what? Shaitan he converted to Islam. 
Everybody is converting to Islam. Even Shaitan, brother. Okay, you know what? I became curious about how Shaitan, he did that. So this is Mr. Shaitan. You know, I cannot resist the temptation of uh, being an artist, you know. I'm very good in art, you know. This is his home. And by the way, Muhammad, he claimed that the sun come from between the horn of Shaitan. You can search that. In the same website where I've shown you. So this is the sun coming from between the two horns of Shaitan. And this is Mr. Shaitan. And his nose, he have a nose. But uh, because I don't have a, the art uh, to 3D now, okay? And this is his body. And he have a tail. tail. This is a long tail, you know? This is his tail. And now he is taking Shahada. Ashadu Allah ilaha ilaha ha bambuna kakakuku habarura. Okay, brother, I'm going to heaven now. Yes, brother, you are shaitan, but now you are saved because you converted to Islam. Even Islam is converting to, to Islam. Like, what's like this is Satan? Like, this is Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan himself, he converted to Islam. No comment. I know, I know. Some of you are saying Shaitan doesn't look like that. Like, hello. Have you seen him? Did you meet Prophet Muhammad before? I did. <laughs> So brother and sisters, Prophet Muhammad is an amazing person. He's full of it. When I say full of it, I mean knowledge. Don't take me wrong. He's full of it. From the top to the bottom. He dropped, when he walk, Prophet Muhammad, he dropped science. He don't walk like us. He's not like us. He's beyond your imagination. Prophet Muhammad is very special. He's special in design. He's special in knowledge. He's special in his specialty. When he talk, he don't talk. Judah is come. Knowledge. Everybody have to learn from Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is the best and forget about the rest. And we have to admit that Prophet Muhammad is better than Discovery Channel, which is stupid anyway. And he is full of knowledge to the point. Do you remember the guy? His name is Jihad. You remember the video? He said that the Jibreel, the angels, they made surgery for Muhammad to improve his IQ. <laughs> to the point, Allah, he need to make a surgery to fix his IQ. He is the only prophet who needed a special surgery. And what the surgery was about? According to Muslim, to improve his IQ, and which is very scientific too, the angels they brought a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. By the way, I did not go to school; I just order a dish of knowledge, and uh, I became knowledgeable. You know, you do not need to. You see, God in Islam, He sent dishes let me show you the hadith here we go allah he sent the three dishes one is full of gold and one is full of of uh, sorry one is gold made all of them are made from gold one is full of faith and one is full of wisdom dumb focus with me with the word dumb 
So they prayed for him. First, they opened the chest of the prophet. Abu the men, they opened the Abu the men of the prophet and they took all the material, screws, screwdriver, you know, uh, tube, uh, plastic tubes, you know, like, uh, you know, recycled stuff, you know. They took it from his chest, brother, and his Abu the men. And they washed it with zum, zum, zum water with his own hands. Look, Jibreel, he cannot use the gloves. His hands without gloves. Because Jibreel, this is an angel. He's a specialty. He's, he's a surgeon, you know. This is what he do for a living, actually. He have a clinic. Till he cleans inside his body. And Muhammad was so dirty inside. We have to be honest here. And then a gold tray containing a golden bowl. Full. Okay, is that, is that, shall, shall we do unboxing video? Golden tray inside it. There's golden bowl. I think I have delivery from Amazon. Hold on. Yeah, I see the guy coming with golden, but it's not golden. This looks like a paper. Or so golden bowls. Okay, and then a tray containing contain what? Full of belief and wisdom. And then Jibril stuffed his chest. And he's a throat blood vessel with it, brother. I'm sure many of you right now are saying the word take a beer. Because according to scientific discovery, that you do not need to go to school to learn anything. You can ask God to send you a dish of knowledge. And if you are an atheist, I advise you to order right now from Allah a dish of faith. And then Jibreel. He come and he install it and he will stuff it. I like the word stuff it. I can imagine Jibreel putting his foot in the mouth of Muhammad to stuff Muhammad with knowledge, wisdom, and faith. Who can come with such a story save the Prophet of Allah, Dr. Muhammad? Nobody. Nobody knows. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, ta -da -dum. nobody, nobody know, nobody know where Muhammad and this, nobody. This guy is crazy. He's struggling. Nobody. What the heck is that? I'm not going to keep you long. It is Saturday, and I wasn't really planning to come over here, but I said to myself, I need to share the wisdom, wiz and dumb, of Prophet Muhammad. Wiz, wiz, wiz. Actually, even the Prophet, he used to receive some kind of wiz, dumb, as a sound of a bell. And I do not know how Muhammad Asad, he is going to translate that for us in Arabic Quran you know this is a question almost and until now he helped me with it if Muhammad he received Quran as sound of a bell how it became Arabic imagine you get that ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. Christian Prince, hey, don't call me. Uh, Zach and I, sorry, I was just trying my phone to start to make them hear the sound of the bell, how it sounds. Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. I'm going to report on YouTube. Like, Zach and I, just hold on, man. Don't report me to YouTube. I'm just showing them that the Prophet here received the sound, Quran in the sound of a bell. Hey, by the way, as long as you are here, can you explain it to us? It's very easy. I can get you with it. First, the explanation of the verse is explained already. Hey, but we need your answer. Okay, my answer for this that the verse is very clear. Well, first of all, it's not a verse, it's a hadith. Exactly. And because it's a hadith, I'm not going to answer it. Exactly, hold on. Why you will not answer it? You answer everybody. How come you don't want to answer me? Good temperance. First of all, you are very stubborn. Secondly, you are single. And I don't think to single. Hey, exactly, I have bad news. I have four wives now. Okay, I don't talk to people of four wives. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have three wives. Christian Beth, it doesn't matter. Even if you divorce, even if you have wives, even if they're single, I'm not going to talk to you. Because you're gonna, but you are talking to me already. I'm not talking to you. But you are. I'm not talking. You are. 
Christian Prince, I'm not talking. Uh, you are. Christian Prince, hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up first. Is that gonna make you hang up, man? First of all, you are the one who called me. Which means if I hang up from my side, it's not going to work. That in the old day when the phone was like a grandma phone. You are using a cell phone, don't you? No, I'm not using a cell phone. I'm using a hard line back then. And the sign would not hang up. Yeah, okay, now I get you. Okay, I, I, I will hang up from my side. Here we go. I hang up. Clean the breath. Hang up. I, I just hang up. Why you don't hang up, man? Hang up from your side, Christian Prince. I tell you to hang up first. Is that a debate now? I call you to ask about the, the bell, and now we became challenging each other about the, the, who is going to hang up first. Christian Prince, you lost. Everybody, my witness, you hang up first. Bye bye. I get you better. Okay, Zachary, thank you. So, brothers and sisters, you have to convince that even jungle bells is not Christian people singing it. It was the angels coming to Muhammad, saying to him, Allah bells, Allah bells, Allah all the way, Allah bells, Allah bells, la 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 la, hey, Allah says, says uh, and Muhammad like what? He, you know, he received bells and he make a Quran Arabic, you know? He did it in, did it in, did it in, he write Quran Arabic. Did it in, did it in, did it in, he write Arabic. This is very, very unique. We we have we have to admit Christians, Hindus, Jews, Buddhas, nobody have such a prophet. He is unique in every way. And no Christian can bring us a prophet like him who was able to convert. The ringing of the bell. To the final message of Allah, it's called Quran. Alhamdulillah. Take a beer. Brothers and sisters, if you are watching this video, don't give, forget to give it dislike if you are a Muslim. And don't forget to not to give it dislike if you are a Christian. And by the way, some people they ask me if this video or sorry how many channels i have i have only two channels i go live on them speaking about islam christian prince and arabian prophet all other channels are not mine remember that carefully i know that some of them even they are collecting donation so they don't want you to be confused those are not my channel this is the only channel you can support them this is not my, my topic but I don't want people to fool you, make you believe that those channels are mine. They are copying my videos. They have nothing to do with me. So I want to say thank you for all of you for being here. And I hope that none of you will receive a sound of a bell because obviously this is a kind of illness, not healthy. Actually, if you go and check in, in Google, you will find that this is symptoms of, of certain mental and brain illness to receive or to hear such a sound. Muhammad obviously is mentally ill. This is why Muhammad he jumped in dead dog water, blood, water, and garbage to take a shower. That's why Muhammad, even the Muslim, they agree that Muhammad he was imagining himself having sex with his wife, but in fact he was not. The Muslim explains saying that the Prophet was bewitched, and this was the excuse in the old days. Anything is sickness or illness, they think the person is bewitched. And how the man he bewitched Muhammad, he took some hair from his, <clears throat> we don't know exactly actually from where, but I'm assuming it was from his pubic area, which why you don't, you don't ever let somebody, you know, you have to hide your hair there, you know. And this is why Muhammad, he became expert with the stupid things, you know. So Muhammad, he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. Muhammad, he imagined everything around him, and he is so much separated from anything called reality. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and we will see you soon again. Don't forget to download the videos, because the Muslims, they will not be happy with it. I hope we share the truth with the Christians, with the Muslims, non-Muslims. We don't mean here 
to insult anyone except liars. I don't mind to insult liars. Those who lie, they deserve to be exposed. And as you see, I don't show things from my own books, even though I wrote many books, but I'm showing you what their books saying about their prophet, translated by them, posted by them, published by them. What a shame. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, wishing you a great weekend. Take care. Or if you are not liking it, take a hike.